Good afternoon all. Shall we start this? Okay, shall we start? Okay. Okay, the previous class we just concluded your module uh, computer hardware requirements for uh, real time applications. So, in today's class, uh, we'll be dealing about uh, the basics of uh, operating system. So this was this what is the uh, we that we are discussing in the previous class. What is an operating system? An operating system is the between the computer and the computer hardware. So I request all of you to uh, mute your audio. Okay. Any program, uh, a program that acts as an intermediary between the user of the computer and the computer hardware is called as an operating system. The main goals of operating system are to we'll execute the user programs and resolve user uh, to execute the user programs and to resolve user problems easily. Make the computer system convenient to use. Use the computer hardware in an efficient manner. So these are the uh, goals of the operating system. I'll share the, the notes now. So these are some of the examples of uh, operating system. You have Windows, you have uh, Ubuntu, you have Android, Open Solaris. So just uh, watch a video. What is an OS? Yeah, just uh, uh, I, I thought you I thought uh, you just uh, go through this video so that it would be helpful for you guys. Just go through this video, guys. Uh, once again, I'll share the so share this uh, video, just watch it. Yeah, maybe systematically hard. Yes. 
proper shape. We have to see, we have to see Ahara, Ahara, or the its proper shape. We have to see its proper shape. This one is Ahara. It's why we have that. This is the common condition of the external body. Now, who is the property we need to calculate? Our body of X. Our body of X. What is that? We have calculated in the final. R, X, Y, and R, O, X. Okay, for that reason, we are going to calculate R, O, X, 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 This is the normal calculation of your X, Y, and R, O, X, 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 what is the proper reason? Okay, okay, just a uh, small video has been presented to you guys. Uh, there we saw many functions. Uh, performed by an operating system. Uh, before uh, going further, let us have a simple operating system uh, concept with respect to your gate and uh, university exams, how the question can be asked. So you can see here. Uh, how this or uh, the concepts of voice uh, will be asked in your uh, exam? Just watch this video, guys. Share the topic is labels of operating system. Before I start with this video, I just want to request you all, and especially to make this video for the first time on the internet, please subscribe my channel, please share with your friends, and please press the bell button for the latest videos. Now, we this video to start. वीडियो के जो हम इसमें बात करने वाले हैं वो है सिलेबस ऑफ ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम अब आपको पहले ये होगा कि सिलेबस ऑफ ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम मतलब ऑलरेडी ये बहुत जगह पे अवेलेबल है आप अगर डाउनलोड करते हो ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम का सिलेबस पर्टिकुलर यूनिवर्सिटी का एग्जाम के लिए या यूजीसी नेट के एग्जाम के लिए आपको इजीली अवेलेबल हो जाएगा लेकिन मेरा इस बात को बनाने का मेन मोटिव क्या है आपको क्लियर कट इंफॉर्मेशन दे रहा हूं कि गेट में या यूजीसी ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम प्रिपेयर कर रहे हो तो कौन से ऐसे टॉपिक है जो मैंडेटरी है स्टार मार्क है मतलब आपको करके ही जाने हैं और कौन से ऐसे टॉपिक है जिनको आप थोड़ा बहुत ऊपर से लेके जा सकते हो तो इससे एक्चुअली बेनिफिट है कि वो जो बिल्कुल और ये वीडियो में किसके ऊपर भेज रहे हैं क्योंकि कहीं ना कहीं पैटर्न जो है क्वेश्चंस का वो सेम ही है कई बार यूजीसी नेट के एग्जाम में गेट के क्वेश्चन आ जाते हैं गेट के एग्जाम में क्वेश्चन जो है रिपीट हो जाते हैं बट विद अ डिफरेंट तो ये जो है इसीलिए ये वीडियो का यहां पे बड़ा इंपॉर्टेंट है बड़ी इंपॉर्टेंट है दूसरा पॉइंट है स्मार्ट वर्क जैसा कि हम लोग जानते हैं कि हार्ड वर्क बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट है लेकिन हार्ड वर्क के साथ-साथ स्मार्ट वर्क जो है वो भी बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट है अगर आपको यहां पे फर्स्ट टाइम पे जो हमारा अभी जो लेटेस्ट आई है बॉब्स की रिपोर्ट उसके अकॉर्डिंग जो रिपोर्ट का नंबर वन जो अमीर आदमी है वो हमें सबका है तो वो जो है बंदा अमेजोन का जो हेड है उस बंदे ने ना तो उसकी कोई इंडस्ट्रीज है कि जो इंडस्ट्री में वो चीजें बना रहे हैं शॉप बना रहे हैं या एप्पल बना रहे हैं बहुत सारी चीजें जो भी वो ऑनलाइन वेबसाइट पे या एप्लीकेशन पे बना रहे हैं लेकिन उसके बावजूद भी उसकी जो टोटल वेल्थ है पूरे सारे बिलियनियर जिसमें हमारा 
सी डी काफी कमांड है मतलब मैं यहाँ पे बट बेसिक कमांड जितनी भी है सी डी कमांड है सी एच एम ओ डी कमांड है अभी रिसेंटली जुलाई वाले जो है एग्जाम में जुलाई का जो अभी टू थाउजेंड एटीन का एग्जाम हुआ है उनके बारे में आपको पता होना चाहिए उनके पैरामीटर्स क्या है वो आपको जो है पता होना चाहिए तो ये जो है बेसिक लाइन के बारे में आपको क्वेश्चन आ सकता है और तो गेट में ये क्वेश्चन नहीं आया हुआ ज्यादा लेकिन यूजीसी नेट के लिए क्वेश्चन जो है बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट मैनेजमेंट एंड सिक्योरिटी ये वाला पोर्शन जो है फाइल मैनेजमेंट में जो स्पेशली आता है कि फाइल से डेटा को कैसे फेच करते हैं वेरियस एल्गोरिदम जिसमें आपके पास आता है सिक्वेंशियल एक्सेस रैंडम एक्सेस लिंक्ड एक्सेस तीन चार मेथड्स हैं वो आपको बेसिक बेसिक पता होना चाहिए बहुत ज्यादा अगर आपको मतलब इसमें जो है ज्यादा क्वेश्चंस जो आपको नहीं मिलेंगे लेकिन आपको ये एल्गोरिदम्स की वर्किंग इनके बीच में क्या एडवांटेजेस और डिसएडवांटेजेस है क्या इनकी कॉम्प्लेक्सिटी है आपको पता होना चाहिए मतलब वर्किंग कैसे है सीक्वेंशियल रैंडम और लिंक्ड एलोकेशन भी है और एक्सेसिंग ऑफ द फाइल्स भी है और सिक्योरिटी में हमारे पास आता है बेसिक डेफिनेशन वायरस क्या है वनिबिलिटीज क्या होती है लूप होल्स क्या है एनक्रिप्शन का बेसिक्स सब पूछ सकते हैं लेकिन एनक्रिप्शन वाला एक्चुअल में नेटवर्क के अंदर जो है पोर्शन है क्रिप्टोग्राफी वाला वहां पे एक्चुअल में कवर हो जाता है लेकिन अगर इस पॉइंट से अगर देखा जाए तो आपको बेसिक बेसिक सा पता होना चाहिए और ये वैसे भी पोर्शन वहां पे कवर हो जाएगा तो आप वहां से इसको रिलेट कर सकते हैं तो बेसिक वायरस की डेफिनेशन लूप होल्स वनिबिलिटीज और इसके अलावा अटैक्स क्या होते हैं कितने टाइप्स के अटैक्स हैं ये जो है आपको बेसिक बेसिक जो है पता होना चाहिए तो यहाँ पे अगर मैं इस पूरे मेमोरी मैनेजमेंट वाला पोर्शन देख सकते हो डेडलॉक और थ्रेड वाला कॉन्सेप्ट है ये जो है ओके सो जस्ट यू यू गॉट टू नो द इंपॉर्टेंस ऑफ ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम दैट सो इफ यू आर प्रिपेयरिंग रियली फॉर गेट एग्जामिनेशंस दिस टॉपिक इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट सो डोंट नेगलेक्ट दिस टॉपिक सो इन डिटेल the syllabus will go through the in detail syllabus so this is about our operating system uh, so the uh, general purpose operating system structure is as shown here you have the underlying hardware above that you have the software so any operating system will have the seven supporting features starting from interrupt handler dispatcher io subsystem file manager scheduler utilities and language support so if i speak of any basic operating system it has it should have the following seven uh, blocks starting with language support utilities io subsystem file management scheduling interrupt handling dispatching so these are the seven basic operations that any operating system should take care of above that we have the application programs so you can see that how the cpu is connected with the dispatcher and interrupt handler IO devices is connected with IO subsystem file management scheduler like this. this is an example of general purpose operating system so now we have one more type of uh, operating system called as minimal operating system minimal operating system instead of having all these things language support and all you can skip that and you can keep only the essential uh, programs uh, this is called as minimal operating system so here it is called as kernel operating system minimum kernel os minimum kernel os or minimum operating system so one more type we have uh, general structure of a simple operating system usually any uh, any computer uh, hardware cpu disk io devices is stated as a basic input output system so that's why we have all uh, we all have bios in your computers bios stands for basic input output system which supports uh, the installation of any operating system so bios irle beko any operating system or uh, sorry any machine should have this bios basic input output system so here if i look at the general structure of a simple operating system uh, the software is comprising of bios bios stands for basic input output system so which is interconnected with bdos basic disk operating system so which is governed by command processor application software which are linked to the user the user can input the command via command processor he can uh, you he or she can run the application 
based upon the application software by installing the suitable software we can run any application which in turn they are connected to bdos bdos stands for basic disk operating system which is connected with bios basic input output system finally you have the control over the hardware like cpu disk and io devices via bios bios provides a skeleton for installing the software for installing the software real time multitasking operating system at the same time many uh, many tasks can be performed so that is also possible in multi user os multi user os so you can see here here the user is you have many users you have many users we have many users program data so program memory and data memory are separated and this will provide this type of software will provide that you are the only one person using the system multi user operating system one more type we have multi tasking operating system multi tasking operating system is nothing but the user can perform different tasks for example your mobile phone you can open any app of your choice you can switch between the uh, apps uh, like you require task one task i task n etc data one data i data n so common data is shared in this particular uh, block and we, uh, beneath that we have multitasking operating system our mobile phone is an example of a multitasking system multitasking operating system so any application or uh, the difference between the typical rtos real time operating system so for real time applications we require we require a special type of operating system called as real time operating system so here it is also it has to perform the seven basic functions along with that you have resource allocation and management task manager and real time clock real time clock which will keep the time so here you can see here Uh, as a whole real time multitasking operating system can be summarized as follows task management the allocation of memory and processor time you know, to the task memory management control of memory allocation resource control control of all shared resources inter task communication and synchronization along with the above functions the system provides provides standard features such as disk files basic input output device drivers and utility programs Uh, so this is very important real time clock is a very essential block which controls and coordinates the various timing uh, uh, timeliness of the different tasks for why because time at which the tasks are executed is very important that is why a normal uh, operating system does not fit into a real rts because uh, time is very important here as the uh, the system has to respond within a particular timeline that is why uh, uh, the task manager is been linked to rtc real time clock then we go with cyclic uh, scheduling strategies there are two type of uh, scheduling scheduling means uh, uh, organizing the things organizing the things so there are two types of uh, scheduling one is cyclic scheduling and other is preemptive scheduling cyclic strategy it the task use cpu for as long as it wishes cyclic it's very common it is very simple strategy which is highly efficient in that it minimizes the time lost in switching between tasks cyclic one after the other scheduling so uh, it is just like us early morning we'll get up we'll do the same job we will have a schedule right we'll have a schedule everybody will have a schedule on that schedule only will execute somebody will have preemptive schedule <coughs> preemptive means uh, there are many preemptive strategies all involve the possibility that task will be interrupted before it has completed a particular move in preemptive means sudden a sudden decision uh, you will think that uh, at the exam day or before exam we'll study uh, we'll keep on postponing and uh, uh, during the time of examinations uh, you may preempt you may preempt means what uh, you may you may feel afraid uh, the uh, I, i may get fail so that you start studying so it is preemption preemption means the possibility that task will be interrupted before it's completed it has completed a particular invocation before completing it will be stopped that is what is meaning of preemptive preemptive the simplest form of preemptive scheduling is to use 
a time slicing approach for example a task has to be executed within a particular fixed amount of cpu time so if a task completes before the end of its time slice the next task in the list is run immediately a common strategy is called as priority scheduling mechanism priority scheduling we yeah, assign priority to the task the task is of highest priority execute and if it is of least priority preempt that task task priorities can be fixed it can be uh, it can be static priority system or maybe change during the execution it can be dynamic priority system however dynamic priority system is not advisable why because the task priority has to be fixed next we have the concept of priority structures there are, uh, these are the priority levels of our task this is the priority levels of our task base level clock level and interrupt level the three priority levels base level clock level and interrupt level so base level you can see this is the uh, last level of priority interrupt is of highest level if any interrupt happens to the system then the uh, execution of the program will stop then uh, after completion of the interrupt execution uh, the program counter jumps to the next level of task first is priority first highest priority is interrupt level interrupt level 1 interrupt level y interrupt level n once it completes it will go to executed on real time clock it will go to clock level task clock level 1 clock level i clock level n so after execution of all this interrupt and clock level it will go to base level scheduling base level 1 base level i base level n this is how the things will work in uh, real time systems okay cyclic task cyclic task so you can see here uh, cyclic tasks are ordered as a priority which reflects the accuracy of timing required for a task those which require higher accuracy being given the highest priority so you can see here so this can be understood by this simple task activation diagram so three tasks a b c are required to run at 20 millisecond 40 millisecond and 80 millisecond intervals if the clock interrupt rate is at 20 milliseconds the task priority order is set as a b c with a as the highest priority so first case task priorities are a b c then c so these are the task activation diagram <coughs> task a is re required to run at 20 so you can see here task a is been starting to run at 20 milliseconds task b at 40 at 40 task b should be run but you can see that a is also executing why a is executing at every 20 millisecond it has to execute after a then b then b so b should execute at 40 milliseconds but because a should run first and it is of highest priority than b a will execute first after completion of a b will be running then at 80 milliseconds your c has to run so you can see here this is 60 milliseconds once again a is running here because a has to run every 20 milliseconds then at <coughs> 60 80 you can see here 80 c has to run but after running of a again 40 milliseconds so here again 40 milliseconds has uh, gone already 20 plus 20 40 so b will run after b c will run this is how the system will assign priority to the task and execute so this is the tick number if it is 5 uh, total time is 100 at 100 again a will execute so understand this problem and this there is a one, this is the only problem that you have in your entire syllabus task priorities now look at the priorities if i change the priorities as c a then b so if the priorities are changed like this c is having the highest priority then a then b we again a at 20 milliseconds a will run at 40 a will run then b at 60 a will run at 80 you can see here although a should run at this point c is having the highest priority now c will start C will start first, then A will be running. After A, B will be running. So this is how the system allocation is done. System allocation is done. Very important concept. Task, cyclic task with examples. Cyclic task with examples. So I'll stop here. If you have any doubts, you can ask me. Otherwise, my mission year attendance. Then you can uh, mark your attendance. then we can leave